How do you remember numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That was, when I was a kid, that was on Sesame Street, that song, and it helped me learn how to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But now, as an adult, my problem isn't counting. My problem is memorizing numbers. Maybe it's uh, history dat dates or chemistry facts or numbers that are important to remember in business. How do you remember numbers? When I won the USA Memory Championship in 2010, this is the same shirt I was wearing when I won. At the time, I held the record for the longest number ever memorized in five minutes in the United States. <laughs> hundred and sixty seven digit number memorized in five minutes but what is the secret to remembering numbers the key to remembering numbers is being able to turn a number into a picture what's a picture for the number 17 So what's the trick? How do you remember numbers? How do you turn numbers into pictures? There's a couple ways. The easy way is for the number seven, think of dice because opposite sides of dice always add up to seven. Or for the number eight, think of a snowman because it's shaped like a number eight. That's gonna be good for simple numbers like eight's a snowman for the because it's shaped like an eight, seven is dice. Or what about for numbers where you can't think of a picture like the number 52 or 784 or 695? Well, fortunately, there is a way, there is a system known as the major system. And it's a system using sounds to turn numbers into pictures. Winterland, tell me all. It all boils down to this. Every digit is assigned a sound. Zero is sa, one is ta, two is na, three is ma. Four is ra, five is la, six is ja, seven is ka, eight is fa, nine is ba. If you can memorize these sounds, you can turn any number into a picture. First, you need to remember the sounds that go with the number. And I have an easy way for you to do this. Repeat after me. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth. Four is your ribs, five is your liver. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth. Four is ribs, five is liver. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver. Six is your hip joint, we're just going to call it joint. Six is joint, seven is your kneecap, we're going to call it cap. Eight, there's two bones down here, the tibula and fibula. Eight is your fibula, and nine is the bottom of your foot. So, zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver, Six is joint, seven is cap, eight is fibula, nine is the ball of your foot. Zero is ceiling, one is top, two is nose, three is mouth, four is ribs, five is liver, six is joint, seven is cap, eight is fibula, nine is the ball of your foot. Now how does this help you remember the sounds for numbers? Well, zero is ceiling, or sa, zero is sa. One is T, or top, two is N, or nose, three is mouth or ma, four is ribs or ra, five is liver or la, six is joint or ja, seven is cap or ka, eight is fa for fibula, and nine is ball or ba. So again, the sounds for numbers are zero is sa, one is ta, two is na, three is ma, four is ra, 
five is la, six is ja, seven is ka, eight is fa, and nine is ba. That's a really, really easy way to remember the sounds for numbers. Now, that's the first thing you have to do. Remember those, but you should have them now. So, two, five, eight, four. Let's remember that two equals the na sound. We're gonna use an N. Five equals the la sound, so we could use an L or a double L. In this case, let's just use an L. Eight equals the fa sound. We could use an F, we could use a PH, we could use a GH, but in this case, let's just use an F. Four is the R sound, so we'll use an R. So now we need to put vowels in here. A, E, I, O, U. Since vowels do not equal any number, we can put them in here without changing the number. So why don't we put an A and an I there to make nail, and an I and an E there to make fire. 2584 is a nail on fire. Let's do some more. Seven, five, two, two. Seven is the ka sound. We could use a C, a CK, or a K. Let's just use a C. Five is the la sound. We could use an L. We could even use a double L. Let's just use L. Two is the na sound. We could use an N, a KN, an MN, a GN. Let's just use the N. So now we have CL, NN. We put a vowel in here, A, E, I, O, U, and we come up with coal for 75 and a nun for 22. Let's do a few more. 47, 82. Four is the ra sound. Seven is the ka sound. We could use a CK, a K, a C. Let's use a CK here. Eight is the fa sound. We could use an F, a PH, a GH. Let's use an F here. Two is the na sound. We could use an N, we could use a KN, we could use an MN, we could use a GN. Let's use the N. 47 is rock. Putting a vowel here, 82 is fan. One more. 61, 19, six. Now remember that this is the J sound. We can also use an SH sometimes because SH and J are very similar to the same sound. One is the T sound, one is the T sound, and nine is the B sound. Putting vowels in here, 61 for me is a jet, 19 is a tub. Now what is the hard part about this method? Well, I don't really think there's a hard part about it, but there's two things that you have to really get down before you can use this system to turn numbers into pictures. The first is you need to remember the sounds that go with the numbers. The next thing that you need to do, and this isn't hard to do, but it just takes a little, it'll probably take you a couple weeks, and that is to simply turn every two digit number into a picture. This is how you do it. Whenever you're driving down the road and you see a license plate, take two digits and turn them into a picture using the sounds that we've created. When you see a sign on a billboard or an exit sign that has a number, turn that into a picture. Every time you see two digits in a phone number, turn those two digits into a picture. And here's the beauty of this. Once you turn 84 into a picture, you don't ever have to do it again. Use the picture that you create every time for the rest of your life for 84. Once you turn 25 into a picture, you don't ever have to do it again. So people may say this system is too much work. It's really not. It's just a lot of work in the first couple of weeks. But once you turn a number into a picture, you got it for the rest of your life. 
So work on that when you're driving down the road, when you're in a car, when you're looking at numbers printed on paper, just turn them into a picture. And then if you're a history student, use it to remember dates. If you're a chemistry student, use it to remember details about the elements, the atomic mass, the boiling point, the melting point. Those were all numbers. Or if you're a business person and need to use it in business. I'll give you a gift and it's totally free. Look in the description of this video and down below in the description of this video, I'm going to type out my pictures for numbers 00 to 99. I'm going to show you what mine are. This is great information and it's in the description of this video. If you appreciate me giving you this gift, please give me a thumbs up and I'd even appreciate a, something in the comments saying, Ron, thanks so much for giving us your pictures 00 to 99. They're in the description of this video. Now here's the deal. I recommend you make your own pictures, but if you get stuck and you can't think of what is a picture for 87 or 92, then go look at my list and use my list as a guide. So I do appreciate all the thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We always have tons of great educational videos. Also, down below in the description, I have a memory course called Black Belt Memory. It is the most comprehensive memory course out there. Click the link below and check it out. I'll even give you a free memory gift for checking it out. So go click the link below, get my free memory gift just for checking it out. It's called Black Belt Memory. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.